Hello everyone, this is Mike Torres from Utrade FX. Today we'll be talking about the standard deviation, volatility, and Bollinger Bands. First, with disclaimer, today's training is designed to instruct in some of Vertex FX charting program. We'll be providing some guidelines for using certain features of the software. However, nothing in this training should be intended as or should be construed to be a recommendation to buy or sell any specific security or currency. The information, technical analysis techniques, and software presented today should be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Utility effects shall have no liability for any investment decision and trading strategies or any information provided in connection with the company. Okay, let's get started. Uh, this is the chart of the pound. Uh, the standard deviation is a statistical term that provides a good indication of volatility. It measures how widely values Closing price, for instance, are dispersed from the average. Dispersion is the difference between the actual value closing price and the average value mean closing price. The larger the difference between the closing price and the average price, the higher the standard deviation will be, and the higher the volatility also. The closer the closing price are to the average price, the lower the standard deviation and the lower the volatility. Let's show you how to add the uh, standard deviation. Add indicator, go to trends, and press on standard deviation. I like the reading four on standard deviation, so you can adjust it to four, and then apply. Basically, what the standard deviation is saying, if the standard deviation is high, that means there is high volatility. And uh, when it spikes up, there's high volatility. When it is within a small range, like these levels, it is uh, with low volatility. If we are trading the Bollinger Bands, we usually have to have a low volatility in the market or a trading range in order to trade uh, the Bollinger Bands uh, with confidence and uh, also it can uh, with, uh, with a high success rate uh, in the Bollinger Bands. Uh, please remember all that not every indicator is traded every day. You have to find the right time. Timing is very important to trade the indicator. Using the standard deviation, it can tell us which, uh, uh, which time span is the best time for us to trade the market. First of all, this is my, the way how I do it. Uh, just uh, press, uh, press on the line. Make a resistance on the inner band you see in front of you. These are the pe uh, peaks in the inner, uh, inner band of uh, the market. Uh, you, you can draw two lines if it can uh, help you feel that it's like more like a border. And also put another two lines, two small lines, in the inner lower inner band. So uh, this, is, uh, this is it. So let's, let's, uh, let's go through it. You see that uh, once the market went above these lines, the market actually had uh, a, a large move in the market, uh, and it, uh, it wasn't trading in a range. It started trading, trending downwards. Here also, when it went above it, the market started trending upwards. Here also, uh, when the market went above it, the uh, market was ready, didn't do any action, but it was a cautious uh, sign telling us there, uh, there will be a trend, and definitely look what happened. Eventually, there was a big trend in the market. Um, so... Uh, basically, uh, if we are trading the standard deviation, uh, we would look at these areas. I want to draw a box over here uh, for us to, uh, uh, let me draw a rectangle uh, to, to, to know which area I like to trade. These are the areas I like to trade. Um, uh, also, this area when it's locked in uh, the two borders. Now let's go to the Bollinger Bands. Many people have traded the Bollinger Bands. It was developed by John Bollinger. Bollinger Bands are an indicator that allows users to compare volatility and relative price levels over a period of time. The indicator consists of three bands, simple moving average, simple plus two, simple minus two. Let me show you how we do it. We just put add, indicator, go to trends, and then add the Bollinger Bands. Uh, keep the standard deviation on the Bollinger Band 2. Now, the Bollinger Bands work really nicely in a range. Look, uh, when the market is trading in a range, look at these levels. The Bollinger Bands 
every time it hits uh, the lower uh, border of the Bollinger Bands, it hits the midpoint, then it hits the, up the upper point. So the market will be trading within a range. You can trade it, find supports, find resistances. You can trade the market really nicely. The Bollinger Bands will not be effective at all once the market tends to be at, uh, a, a trend. Look, this is a big trend in the market. Uh, uh, you, it kept on giving us buy signals, buy signals, buy signals with no high reactions, buy signals, buy signals with no high reactions, and most likely any trader who was trading these levels um, and w was w with a little bit of margin um, or high margin, he m most likely would have been hurt. So uh, if we were watching the standard deviation uh, over here, the standard deviation told us stop trading the Bollinger Bands. Basically, the standard deviation uh, it's, a, it's an indicator that tells us trade the Bollinger Band now or don't trade it at all. L I want to go back into history and I just double click on the chart. We have these two arrows and I want to go through the, uh, the standard deviation and see if the th this theory works or not. Okay? Look, uh, these are the lines we drew, but this is a different time span. Uh, let me see, go a little bit further. Okay, this time. You see here, the market was trading within the bands we drew. The standard deviation uh, wa was giving us its a range, and the market actually was trading in a range. Look, the market kept in range. Here, the market, the standard deviation broke out the line sharply. It told us, stop trading the Bollinger Band. It will be risky to trade the Bollinger Band. We might go into a trend now. So, you see the market trended here, and the market kept on trending, 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 trending trending and if we were trading for Bollinger Bands most likely we would have been hurt a lot. Here the Bollinger Bands were locked in in a range because the standard deviation was trading in a range. Here the Bollinger Band uh, uh, was, uh, was not working effectively because there's a trend but the standard deviation told us get out of the market. So it's an indication that tells us get out of the market. So we, we would have most likely stayed out of the market till, 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 we, till we entered these, these levels. Here, we, uh, we should have traded the Bollinger Bands. Here, it, it told us get out. Here, it told us to trade the Bollinger Bands. So, basically, the standard deviation is an indicator that tells us trade the Bollinger Band now or don't trade it. Uh, best of luck in, uh, in trading these markets. This is Mike Torres signing out.